Hey y'all, I'm back with another one. So, <laughs> somebody had asked, uh, you know, how can you catch a, uh, a narcissist quickly? Well, you could catch them in various ways. Either just let time run its course and pay attention. And when they, their, their mask slips, you, you know what you're dealing with. You're dealing with somebody that's wearing a fake mask. And you're not dealing with a person who's genuine, you know. Um, I guess ways to kind of catch them would be listen to what they say. You know, when you hear them say things to you, how does what they say make you feel? Does it make you feel like you want to pull back and away from this individual? Does it feel shady? Does it make you feel guilty and you did nothing wrong? Does it make you feel angry? You know, does it make you, does it, in other words, if every time you talk to this individual, they manage to create negative emotions in you, that's a toxic person. Can't really say that they're a narcissist, but they're definitely somebody you need to get the fuck away from, for sure, you know? Because every time you talk to them, I told y'all. Well, if you're new here, hey, my name is Shay. My channel is Live Life. And, um, you know, I talk about domestic violence and narcissistic abuse and just toxic traits of people in general. It doesn't matter what your zodiac sign is. It doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter your gender. It does not matter your age. Okay? It's a bit tricky trying to find you know certain behaviors in children because kids are kids you really truly cannot know that somebody is mentally disordered if that's what we want to call it you know that's what psychiatrists say mentally disordered or mentally no to me it is a spiritual problem you got demons okay <laughs> there's no way you can have multiple personalities and it not be multiple fucking demons like I don't I don't buy it but you know they can't discriminate in workplaces they can't discriminate by race and age and disabilities and all that you know the law man-made law human law law of the earth you know what I'm saying so they just have bipolar disorder or they just have schizophrenia or yeah okay all right you know, you can still love these people, but love them from a distance, okay? If you know that this person is out to, that's essentially what Satan's kids is out to do, kill, still destroy. That's literally their priority mission. Kill, still destroy. If they want to break down any and everybody that they can, you know, it is what it is. Um, But anyways, y'all. You know, pay attention. Just pay attention. That's all you can do. Like, literally, either you're awake or you're still out here sleepwalking. And if you're out here sleepwalking, you are going to be prey. Uh, yeah, you're going to be prey. Because you're out here sleepwalking. They come to find easy people. They come to find who, that they, who they can take advantage of. So... They interview you before they target you, you guys. You know, if you just meet somebody and they start talking about money a lot. Money, 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 money is on my mind. That's all they want to fucking talk about is money. Hey, a little light bulb should be going off. Alarm, silent alarm should be kind of, <laughs> it ain't got to make the noise, but the lights should be turning and blasting, blinking, something. Because why does this person want to be in your financial business? Well, how much do you pay for your car? Are you going to pay this motherfucker off? Well, how much do you pay in your mortgage? Are you going to buy this motherfucking house? You know, um, how much was it? It's okay to be like, oh, how much was that coffee? Or how much was it for you to get your nails done, hair done? Or, oh, how much was your barber cut? You know? It's okay to ask certain things. But then when people get a little beside themselves to start trying to be like, 
well yeah I pay X amount of money on my car I pay X amount of money in rent like it's almost like they love to try to one-up you they try to make it seem but see this is another way to catch them y'all compare notes what do I mean by comparing notes well if an individual comes to you gossiping about another individual me I'm bold I'll go to the other individual that this individual is talking about and it's not it's not until some time has gone by though y'all you know I'll keep silent about it but I observe and I watch I watch people so if this person is saying yes yeah, such and such they are just blah 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 well guess what such and such still speaks to me such and such hasn't said anything for me to dislike them you know what I'm saying I'm Switzerland at all times you know what I'm saying it's nothing that I could really say because what happens between two other people happens between two other people if they haven't personally come to my face and said something which you know cowards you know narcissists and toxic people y'all they are cowards they are scared to say the wrong thing to your face don't get it twisted because they're people pleasers they are ass kissers and brown nosers trust me when i say this these are the people that if you work around them they want to try to find ways to snitch on you and there ain't nothing to snitch about it's just like well would you like the reward for best snitch ever like like what what is your point here but pay attention to these people okay you got to pay attention to when their mask slips it may slip for a moment for a second but you got to be on guard and you got to be ready to catch it okay you know for example they're smiling in your face are their eyes smiling along with the smile down here micro expressions pay attention people can all day long but guess what if the eye muscles, forehead muscles, you can't fake muscle movement, y'all. Narcissists are actors of the best quality, okay? This is why they can make great actors and actresses in Hollyweird, okay? Most of them are narcissists, y'all. I know damn well T.I. is a fucking narc. Have y'all seen his track record and the shit she, he does and the things he gets caught up in? Did y'all hear about him scamming people out of out of crypto, Bitcoin and stuff? Come on now. Scammers are narcissists. I don't care what anybody says. A scammer ain't just about to be a scammer. Okay? Nobody with a genuine heart and that's rocking with God, the most high, the creator of all things, including Satan and his fucking minions. Okay? would sit there and just scam people because okay these are choices you know so these people choose to con to be con artists to you know manipulate people generally they target the elderly the elderly are the ones that get targeted with the e the spam emails, the text messages, and they're too old to understand technology nowadays. So if they don't have a grandchild or a child that helps them with technology that's going on right now, they're going to be lost. Because literally, my uncle that died, this man had an old-ass Nokia phone. I told him, I said, if your son, my twin, doesn't buy you a damn new phone, I'm going to buy you a damn iPhone so that you can FaceTime me. But then I was just like, it's... I was trying to figure it out because I'm like, if I mailed this man a phone, he probably ain't even going to know how to use the motherfucker. If I called him FaceTime, he'll be like, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, he would be lost because I'm not there to actually show him how to use the damn phone. So, it was like, oh man. But you have people who just, they were born in a certain generation, a certain era, and that is what it is, okay? But, um, yeah, there's many ways to catch them, y'all. The best way to catch them is to allow time to do his job. To allow time to reveal who a person is, their character, you know. All these things get revealed. Um, to see someone under pressure, how do they respond? To see someone angry, how do they respond? 
to see them sad or anything else, you know, that shows whether or not they have character. And we know that toxic and narcissistic people have no integrity whatsoever. They don't have an honest bone in their body, but they mix truth and lies to appear like they're honest. Like they'll they'll tell you some honest shit like, man, you know, um, I'm not a good person for you. I'm not, I'm not the best. They generally tell you shit like this more than once. But you gotta be listening, y'all. A lot of y'all don't listen. A lot of y'all don't pay attention. A lot of y'all just let things go in one ear and out the other. And next thing you know, when your life is in ruins and you're picking up your face off the damn concrete after being ran, ran, run over by a fucking bus and lit on fire and all types of shit, now it's like, what the fuck? Now you want to pay attention because you've been hurt you can avoid these these people don't like when you have boundaries they like to talk to you crazy in any kind of way that they want to and how dare you talk back and put me in my place if i say something out of line to you that is their mentality you know what i'm saying their mentality is i want power and control over this individual how do i gain it they plot, y'all. They plot, they plan, they scheme. There ain't no rest for the wicked. And these people are wicked. They don't sleep. And during these times that they don't sleep, they're planning. They're, they're conspiring with Satan, their father, on how to bring you down and to destroy your life. Okay? Like, uh, straight up, y'all. They come to kill, steal, and destroy. Nothing more, nothing less. And when they realize that they have not destroyed you like they were supposed to, they come back. They pop back up. It's your job to go home. <laughs> oh, it's your job. I just had a funny thought in my mind, but I'm not going to say it, though. It's your job, y'all. It's up to you. A lot of y'all, you know, are wondering, well, how do I stop them from coming back? You hold the power. You are the president, the CEO, the CFO, the, you know, you. picture your life like the airport, okay? You need to up your, your security status, okay? You need to get cameras. You need to invest in TSA crew members. You need to you're the pilot of, of the plane you are responsible for who can and can't get put on that plane you are responsible for being able to kick off anybody on the plane that you don't want there you know you you promote and demote people as required okay so you're the pilot in the cockpit you lock the door you may have a co-pilot that co-pilot is your spouse girlfriend boyfriend husband wife whoever make sure that person is a good co-pilot because you need to know that if this plane goes down do i have a good ride or die partner right here you know <laughs> you have your different sections of the plane you know you got your your first class you know you got your you know your middle class and then you got your coach just the you know the back seat passengers you got your fuelers that put fuel in the plane for you that check your wings and all this you know what i'm saying so and think about this y'all is your plane filled to capacity or in my case i run my life like a private jet ain't too many fucking passengers riding with me you know you got a choice y'all do you want to be riding in a two-door coupe or do you be or do you want to catch the city bus where just any and everybody's coughing and sneezing and germs everywhere and just anything can happen. You know? You got to ask yourself these questions, y'all. Is your life like a coop? Is your life like a private jet? If it's more like a regular plane that your everyday average person can just pay money and catch, or your life is like a city bus, reevaluate your life. Okay? That's all I'm just saying. I'm just trying to give y'all tips. You want to know how to catch these people. 
You cannot allow anybody to get close to you. And the speed, speed is their number one weapon, y'all. They try to fuck you quick because it's like, okay, let me let let me give you this dick. Let me put this pussy on you and get your ass addicted and attached to me. And then when that happens, I'm going to pull back because now I got you where I want you. Traps. Be mindful of traps. That's all, y'all. And they are full of them. They are full of a lot of traps, y'all. So when their mask slips, you know, they could say something. Always follow your intuition because your intuition is going to tell you, like, this person is, something's wrong, something's up. Your intuition is never going to lie when it comes to detecting these people. So follow your intuition. Your intuition could be screaming at you to leave this individual alone. But on the outside, they haven't harmed you. They're smiling, smiling faces, smiling faces sometimes. They don't tell the truth. Y'all know that song? I made a video about that, and I'm about to play that damn song, y'all. That's an old school ass song. If you ain't never heard it, if you were between the age of 18 and 34, you might not have heard it. But you know, if you were 80s and the 90s, baby, you may have heard it. Cause shit, I heard it. You know, but then to my mom, even though she's a narcissist, she plays certain old school songs. But the lyrics, though, y'all, some beware of a handshake that hides a snake. Go check out my fake friends video. Look at the shaking hands. What is that other, what is that person shaking? A snake, a snake. And he also got bit. Hey, you know, I'm just saying. You know, I know, your girl know what she's talking about. I live this shit, okay? For my whole life. I've dealt with a narcissist, so I know. I could, like, it, once I realized what my mother was, I can detect them and they're everywhere. It's a narcolypse, if you ask me. Like, you know, it's the end of the world because we are in the last days, but the meek will inherit the earth. So I'm just waiting on God to just heat up the sun and fry these motherfuckers off the earth. That's all I'm waiting for. Because whether I'm here or whether I'm gone, it don't really make me no difference. But while I'm here, I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to open your eyes to see some things that you know, is around you and coworkers, family, friends. It doesn't matter who these people are. It doesn't even matter their job status. It doesn't matter. Toxic is toxic. Evil is evil. You know, society is so fucked up, y'all, that they actually praise evil. You know what I'm saying? And then if you call evil out for being evil, everybody wants to look at you like you crazy. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, it's very crazy. But stand strong. Stand strong. Stand in your light. Stand in your power. Because at the end of the day, these people have no power, y'all. The only power that they have is the power that you give to them. And I'm serious when I tell y'all this. The only power they have is the power that you give to them nothing else nothing more okay so stop giving them power you know a lot of people up here oh the devil and the devil this and the devil that stop blaming the devil because sometimes if you're out here fucking off your money you're the reason why you got evicted you're the reason why your car got repossessed satan ain't had nothing to do with that you just don't know how to handle money you know what i'm saying oh oh satan is and satan that you giving that guy credit where he don't even deserve credit. He just sitting there like, I didn't even do that, but okay. Cool, long as you long as you keep praising my name by having it in your mouth. Keep giving me attention by having my name in your mouth. A lot of these so-called Christians, they don't know God. They like to think because they dress up and they go to these buildings and they have a Bible that they have this relationship with God. <laughs> honey the fruits of your life will show me if you really truly have a relationship with the divine or not people who come into your life look i'm gonna give y'all examples with my life 
Y'all know I'm against domestic violence, which is also narcissist abuse, because these people abuse you mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. They, they just violate you inside and out, right? So, you know, they come to just break your spirit. They know they can't physically kill you without going to prison, going to jail. They know the consequences of that, but they try to break your spirit in return. Oh, well, I'm going to break your spirit. I'm going to break you down. You know, that is their goal. Their goal is to destroy you mentally to where you feel like you can't live on your own or survive without them. You can survive because you're a survivor, you know, and it ain't no reason for you to give up. They want you to give up and that's what they hate, y'all. That's what they absolutely hate about an empath is that they've done everything in their arsenal of destruction their little toolbox of masterminds and schemes i imagine them to have like a lunch box with all these little maps in it like blueprints of evil schemes and deeds and evil things that they're gonna say and do to you that they planned out and shit and i imagine a room with all of those maps thrown in there because every plot sent to destroy you has failed every last one every last one and i want y'all to know something y'all think that these people don't get their karma oh they get their karma they get their karma you just don't need to be around to see it because god loves you god don't love them i don't care i said it god don't love them because god because if god loved them why would he punish them and allow them to be the way that they are? Yeah, we have free will. They chose to ride with Satan. So when Satan goes down, they got to go down too. You know, they think they winning because, oh, well, you know, I'm being blessed with money. I'm being blessed with this and this and that. Mm -mm. No, we all have a choice. We all have a soul contract with source. And so, some people choose to be evil. Let them be evil. But you move accordingly. Just peep game is all I'm saying. You know, time always reveals who they are. If they're trying to speed the friendship fast. Like, when they want something from you. And they're scheming to get something from you guys. Speed. Speed is dangerous. I mean, it's okay to have a need for speed. And, you know, put the pedal to the metal. But understand, when that popo, whoop, whoop and pull your ass over, now you got a ticket to pay. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, what are your pros and cons? Pay attention. There's always good mixed with bad. You know what I'm saying? Just be mindful. That's all. If this ain't the longest scenic route I've ever taken to work, like, dog. But, yeah, y'all. Just be mindful. That's all I'm saying. Um, if y'all want more things to know, comment down below and tell me what, what other topics y'all would like for me to talk about. I talked about this because some individual asked and really you just got to open your eyes, open your ears, which is hard to do when you're traumatized and you're in this brain fog and you're, you have cognitive dissonance. So let me break these terms down. So cognitive dissonance is like, you know, I experienced this for a long time dealing with my mom who is a narcissist. Um, so she'll sit there and gaslight me, which is mental abuse, y'all. Um, and she'll just say fucked up shit, do fucked up shit, and then try to turn around. And if I call her out, cause I used to call, like kids, kids call people out. You witch, you evil motherfucker. Like they may not say it like that, but they'd be like, you're mean. You're evil. You're wicked. You witch. These are words that I used to use as a kid. I didn't know she was a fucking narcissist, but I knew the bitch was evil. You know? They have two faces. A public a public face and a private face. Who they are in private is who the fuck they are. I don't go by smiles. I don't go by, you know, he he kai kai with somebody. Who are you? Because let me tell y'all, get a narcissist in a group setting. They're going to be the most charming charm. 
Charm, y'all. Charm. Be weary of charming people, okay? If they are charming, you got to be mindful of that. Like, why the hell are you so charming? Why? What is your motive? This is why you need the traits of a Scorpio. Scorpios be like, I don't trust your ass, but I'm peeping. I'm watching. I'm listening, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, it, it's real. You know what I'm saying? So, these are just things to be mindful of, you know? Um, I'm trying to think. I think I covered pretty much everything. You more or less got to let time do its job. Um, you definitely got to keep your eyes and your ears open. Uh, monitor them in group settings, like I said. Because in this group setting, they're evaluating everybody one-on-one. -on -one. Um, they're going to pick out the person in the group who has the most money or the most resources. And they are going to ask kiss to that person. But to the other people, be mindful of people who, who basically are gossiping about everybody. You know, they're gossiping about everybody. They don't like everybody. But then, you know, you peep them talking to everybody. Like, be mindful of behaviors like that. There's no way. If I dislike somebody, I dislike them. I'm, I'm not going to talk to them. They'd be lucky if they even get a damn high from me. You know? I'm not fake, but narcissists, y'all, they're fake as fuck. They are fake as fake can get. They usually are angry because they're usually fucking broke go check out my video broke folks are angry folks most narcissists are broke y'all so of course they're gonna be angry <laughs> anyways peace y'all positive energy always creates elevation stay dangerous out here stay alert stay vigilant bye